Welcome back. We all know that farming is a big part of Ohio's economy, and this morning we are focusing on one particular product. It is Mindy's favorite. I was going to say it's right? your favorite. Wine. Wine. Uh -huh. For good reason. Ohio is one of the top wine producing states in the entire USA, believe it or not. So Harrison and I travel down tomorrow, which is near Cincinnati, to visit a vineyard. Not just any vineyard. This one has been a thriving family business for decades. It's quite common to pour a glass of wine, but have you ever really wondered where it came from? We did, so we went south and ended up at Valley Vineyards. So many people don't think of wine as an agriculture product. You know, we're basically farmers at the end of the day. You know, we don't always wear flannel, we don't all live in farmhouses, but you know, we, Dad says we are, um, we're wine growers. That's a term that he coined back in the day. And there are a lot of wine growers here. In fact, Ohio is the fifth largest wine producing state in the entire country. So we have the lake up north, and then we have the, the river down here. So in the southern part of the state, we grow a lot more, I mean, common varietals, not in a bad way, but like Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, because it's warmer climate. We're mild climate down here. Up north, it's cool climate. So Riesling, Pinot Grigio, things like that are grown up there. Each year, 170,000 bottles of wine are produced at Valley Vineyards. And it all comes from these grapes. Look how many are sprayed across the property. More than 90 acres worth, making it the second largest vineyard in Ohio. Even more impressive, they grow 36 different types of grapes. We grow the grapes that people don't think that we can grow, the Cabernets, the Syrahs, things like that. Um, and then a lot of our vineyard are what they call hybrid grapes, uh, French hybrids. So those are blends that go into our um, red, white, pink reflections. You know, grapes you've never heard of, Deschanox, Chamberson, Marshall Foch, things like that. Um, and they have different characteristics. Joe is the third generation to help run this vineyard. Me, my mom, and my dad, we never agree on a lot. But we always know exactly what Grandpa and Grandma would have said. This is Grandpa. He started the business back in 1970. Well, I didn't want to work inside of a factory, and I, I love a General Motors, and I thought hey, if I can find some way to get out, I will. And he did. Originally, Grandpa planted enough seeds for two acres, ended up with 20, and from there it just continued to grow. I don't know why I pick wine, because uh, if I really pick something today, I would pick donuts, because I love donuts. And I have one every day of my life, and I don't like wine that well. But he sure is glad other people do. They also like beer. That's why Valley Vineyards is now making that too. It's called Cellar Dweller. We spend most of our days down here, so we are the cellar dwellers. Joe's sister overlooks its production which moves a lot faster than wine. Wine turnover is almost a full year where beer we can make today and serve it to a customer in about a, anywhere from two weeks to a month. They have more than 300 beer recipes on file here. Oh, right now I love our pumpkin. That's our seasonal fall beer. Pumpkin is amazing. So of course, we had to try it and she's right. But that's what you'd expect from the Schuster family. They've been around long enough to know success. It's a lot of pressure. Most people point out that most family businesses go out of business on the third generation. So, and it's something that there's three or four wineries in the state that are as old as us, and they continuously point that out to me. Well, from the look and taste of it, things are just fine. And this family business should be around for another 44 years, at least. And when other businesses point that out to Joe, he said they were doing it in a kind way as if to encourage him that you can do this, you've got this, and so far, so good. Well, the winery keeps growing and growing, so they're doing something right. How about Grandpa? He said if he had to do it all over again, he'd have made donuts because he eats donuts every day. Well, Grandpa had a crush on you. <laughs> we loved Grandpa. He was, was a good great. guy. I just can't believe. How wonderful for him to still be there, taking an, act, taking an active role in doing all that when he started it so many years ago. That's how much he loves it. I well, think it's great. You saw the shirt he was wearing too, right? Uh-huh. Will work for wine. Well, that's the right? whole thing. If you're older and you continue to work, <laughs> it keeps you younger. It's all about attitude.